Hey, real quick, I just this is uh, an afterthought. I actually added this at the end, and I'm going to edit this and put this in the beginning. But this tutorial is going to go over Boolean search strings, and I found this uh, little visual to help you. So remember, what we're trying to do is build search strings to find resumes and profiles online. And we're going to be using three major operators, the and, the or, and the not. So when you're searching in Google or LinkedIn or Jobvite, um, you can tell it, um, and these visuals really help, mineral and deposit are only going to bring out articles or resumes that have both of those words. So when we think and, just you know, keep that in mind, keep this visual in mind. Same word if we use mineral or deposit, uh, you would get everything that had the word mineral and you get everything that, that had the word uh, or and so you're gonna get a lot of different results here and then not is hey give me everything with mineral deposit not mining so it's gonna get rid of a whole group of words so as you, as you watch this next tutorial keep in mind the and is gonna limit your searches you know I want someone who is um, a recruiter and in Las Vegas okay you're only gonna get recruiters that live in Las Vegas if you put uh, every if you put recruiter or Las Vegas you're gonna get everybody who happens to have the word Las Vegas and you're gonna get anyone who happens to have the word recruiter so you're gonna get a bunch of results but they're probably not gonna be exactly what you want and here if you put in whoops if you put in here recruiter not Vegas you're only going to get recruiters that don't have the word Vegas in their search. So hope that helps and enjoy the uh, upcoming tutorial. All right, my little sourcing minions. Uh, this is Larry, and I just made this video. Sorry if it's not real polished, but I just wanted to make this video so you guys can kind of understand and use um, this search methodology for building a really, really strong Boolean search terms. So I've got two screens up here, um, and to the left is the Excel tool that I built. And then we're going to use this just to kind of see how things work. So let's just say you start with a rec, uh, a senior software developer. Um, what I want you to do here, and by the way, I just put in Java developer here just to kind of see our results. Some uh, rookie recruiters would just put in, you know, okay, we're looking for Java, and we're looking for developer. You can see you get 600,000 results. But sometimes I like, uh, before I build a string, I'll put in some basic terms so I can start seeing what this person might go by. And you'll see why this is important here in a couple of seconds. So this spreadsheet, it might not be the prettiest thing, but let me just kind of get you in my mind what I was thinking when I built it. So the first thing you'll see here is this down arrow. Okay, and these are the must have words. So I want you to focus just on this column. Forget everything else. So I'm going to make this wide here so we can just focus on this column. So the first thing we're going to do is build a title search. And that way when we go to LinkedIn Recruiter, you can go right to title search. And you're going to set it to current uh, once you type something in. This is key. A lot of sourcers and recruiters don't spend a lot of time on the title search. You'll see that the title search will pay off huge dividends. So you just met with the recruiter or the hiring manager and they said we're looking for a senior. So that's one word. Every line uh, on this column, if it's, it's going to be a senior software developer. So you break down, I want you to break down the, um, the title. Every word goes on, on each row. Okay, so it's a senior software developer. These are the must-haves, okay? And then keywords, well, they've told us they have to have Java. And plus, you can just look at the job description under requirements. Um, they have to have web services. You might not know what these are yet, but we're going to do, do some research. So let's just start off there. Typically, the more keywords you have, the better. But for right now, let's just start off real basic, okay? So I've got senior software developer. And I know that's in the title. So once I make this string... It's going to go in there and then I know I need Java and I need web services. Okay, so I'm going to hit this button here, generate, generate strings. And right here, mm -hmm. I'm going to copy. 
So that's my complete title string. I'm going to paste it in there, and I can see developer is misspelled. You'll realize working with me that I'm not the best speller in the world. And then I'm going to capture this keyword string, copy it, put it in keywords. Let's see what we have here. Search. Okay, so we have 12,000 results. Um, and, and you can see it just built some basic Java and web services because you put in it's doing exactly what you told it to do. You, you told it, I want Java. Remember, each line is a must-have word. And we told it we needed a senior software developer. Here it says senior and software and developer. So we've got 12,000 people, okay? And so here are our people. Now, um, don't mind Bruno in the background running around. So now what I want you to do is, so we've got 12,000 results. Now we're going to bring in this arrow here so these are going to build in your synonyms or your or statements okay so this is a senior software developer but maybe um, this like this guy was an android developer he happened to put senior here he was also a tech lead um, so obviously these are bringing up the seniors right the, the ones that have the sr but i could easily see someone typing it out senior or maybe they're a lead okay so what we're doing here on the spreadsheet is we know they have to have senior these are your must-haves the uh, now going from left to right this arrow these are the synonyms for the word senior so if it's senior it could, they could have spelled it out senior they could be a lead I'm gonna take this over a little bit and you'll start playing with this so they could be a um, what else could they be? Maybe a consultant. Okay. Now here, this is tricky. Uh, software. Well, they could actually have the word Java developer. Uh, they could have, they could even be called um, a web developer. They could be called an application. Application or applications, plural. Applications developer they could be called in some cases a mobile although we're not looking for mobile they could be called um, what else a software application web Java um, we'll leave it at that then here for developer well they could be called an engineer they could be called yeah an engineer they could be called a programmer they could be called a, what else, engineer, programmer, developer. Let's just stop there. So now the word, now this here, this, this is a cool little feature here in the red. This is for what you don't want. So you'll realize um, you, you'll, this will happen to you. You're going to send out, you're going to make this great search string, and then you're going to send out a bunch of individuals. And sometimes recruiters, or salespeople will have the keywords in here and you're going to accidentally send out um, an email to someone who's a recruiter. So knowing what you don't want is just as important. So we don't want in the title someone who is a recruiter. Uh, you'll learn this as you go. A developer is very different from a tester. So we do not want someone who's a tester. Sometimes they call themselves QA. Uh, we do not any, want anyone who's a VP. Uh, who or CIO or uh, a principal and you, you'll go from there now you can just build these as you go now they had to have the word Java just by looking just by googling um, Java I just went to Wikipedia and it tells me a little bit about Java I can see in here for example J2EE -E, I, I can see some other keywords J2SE J2ME, like that's Java 2, that's the mobile edition, that's the enterprise edition. So you can just, um, you don't want to miss out any candidates. So I'm going to put here J2EE. I'm going to put in here J2ME. I'm going to put in here uh, JRE. I'm also going to put in here, so you're just going to research and find some keywords and just kind of play with it. Because like I said, someone could actually have Java 
and then SC here. So those are some things you can do to build your string. So now I'm going to hit generate strings and now it's going to build out our string a little more. So now I didn't do web services, but you, you get the idea. I went to web services here and you can look um, Wikipedia rest um, is a good word for web webs uh, web services SOAP so you just kind of start playing with this and building building out your keywords so now I've generated some words I'm gonna copy and that's my title search now I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna paste my title search current and I'm gonna get in here and my strings I'm gonna hit copy put in my keywords now let's see what I can get I know the last search we had about 12,000 so we just added another 12,000 we just doubled our our search right now just by adding some of these ors and and features so right there you know it, it's a great example and you can see what um, here the words that were like this person here had senior we would have missed out on Chad if we just use SR same thing with sweetie we would have missed out and every time you look at a candidate look at their look at their titles so she put consulting independent contractor you can build out these words go ahead and get this and put it back in that in that software string on your Excel spreadsheet and just start playing with it um, and that's how you'll build out really really good search strings